Hi, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, this is actually the first time I've had the honor of giving an acceptance speech. So, like any good physician scientist, I started by going to PubMed because you know there must be a literature on this topic, of course, right? Uh, so, what I learned from my literature review is that you should always start by flattering the audience. So, I'd like to thank the Scientific Council and the broader PBRF community and you for listening to this message. Right? But. You know, jokes aside, I do truly believe that. BBRF is not just a funding organization, but they're actually a catalyst for the advancement of mental illness research. Uh, and if you ask my wife, she'll tell you that I truly mean it when I talk about my respect for the members of the Scientific Council. For example, I'm constantly telling her about some exciting, influential work from Helen Mayberg, or Eric Kandel, or Holly Lissenby, or many others on this council. But perhaps more important, or at least as important, are the philanthropists who make this work possible, the coordinating staff who ensure that it all goes smoothly, the journalists who help bring it to the real world, and of course the patients whose suffering we're here to relieve. And at the BBRF Scientific Council dinner, I, I actually had the good fortune of seeing all these groups in the same room, working towards a common goal. And it was truly inspiring. You know, it really illustrates the depth of our interdisciplinary field. I often say neuroscience is the last refuge of the polymath, but uh, my own work has been inspired by a wide range of mentors from a wide range of disciplines like Mike Fox, who's an engineer turned neurologist, uh, David Brody, another engineer turned neurologist, uh, David Silberswig, a philosopher turned neurologist psychiatrist, and Kevin Black, a mathematician turned psychiatrist. And, but I was prepared for this only because I was fortunate to be raised in that environment. Uh, I come from a long line of engineers and I'm a psychiatrist. Uh, my dad, who's an engineer turned educator, taught me how to think systematically all the time. My mom, who was a clinical dietitian, also turned educator, taught me how to think practically and also to remain, remain resilient. And beyond that, she also taught me something unique, something about the lived experience of a mind tormented by the throes of mania and the pits of depression. And when, when you love somebody who is struggling with mental illness, it teaches you something that you just can't learn from psychiatry residency. Uh, and those lessons remain valuable years later when I watched my wife descend into the misery of severe depression after years of struggling with mild depression. And then after she made a miraculous recovery with ketamine, with three doses of ketamine, she said to me, Sean, is, is this what normal feels like? Uh, and that's right about when I was getting ready to take my first grown-up job after clinical training. And she convinced me to wait, spend more time in research training, and then help the world figure this out. And, and it's crazy whose spouse would ever say, don't take the grown-up job, spend more time in training. So once again, thank you to BBRF, thank you to the Scientific Council, and to everybody who's part of this organization for, for helping people like me find better treatments for people like my family. I look forward to continuing to work together in the future. Thank you.